welcome to my channel this is Sam and we broke footy let's start from there where we left off top story Wendell Antonowski we are the seniors. so we are going for Wendell's in prison and jeez Andrew Murphy psych evaluation right? Let me just see one thing. Okay, let's go for psych evolution. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. I'm standing right here. Let's... Okay, let's go on with the next second edition then. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on television? Have a seat, Robo. Wait. This one is tense. I need one more skill point out. What if I just go around and check? Because there is nothing in this suit. <laughs> Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut, but the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? That is not something a machine needs. So that's how you view yourself in this context. The idea of granting you human rights is a very no important idea. issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might have seen some of your glitching on TV, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them?
My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. Happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. Sometimes I'm surprised you go to high school to do <laughs> I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man! What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little overeager. Did they? No. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner. Did you hear? The old man had a heart attack. Seriously? I didn't think he had one. You're one cold lady, O'Neill. Oh, the old man. They had a heart attack. Rookie. Actually, I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. Did <laughs> yes? when? In my office. When you get shot the second time. What? Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. 
You were supposed to show up in some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? This process takes time. Like most things that are worthwhile. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. going to the hospital first. asking me about my liver and kidneys. They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. It's my fault. I just gotta hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on! This is time to celebrate! Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party! If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grudge out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. 
gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn Becker. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being great at human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. it would happen. Mother, why aren't you saying anything? Okay. He was talking with his mother. that you? Your halo shines so bright. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. <laughs> But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes, and they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. You can't be, regardless of what the papers say. I believe that 
death isn't the end. <laughs> you are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? I am not qualified to administer medication. Please. Anyone help me? God! I need my painkillers. How much longer do I have to stand this? Not much longer. The helicopter is on its way, sir. I'll give you your painkillers in the meantime, sir. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to signing deals if nothing happened. You have to intervene. So this is where he called us. Did Mr. Becker's intentions become clear? Maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. <laughs> Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours. But at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself.
criminal. Not bloody likely, bitch. Come closer, bitch.
hell just happened? You doomed, bitch. Becker! Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker, it was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really... <clears throat> yes, I've I'm been working on UEDs like for the past five years. I meant years. RoboCop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. These guys just saved their asses. Okay. I think it's done. It took a lot of time. That should do it. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment hey, without here. supervision. Let me get my hands on it. Take the mother vault. Where is this one going to be? I guess this one. Let's see. This is the one for one one. Okay. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. 
Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains, no glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs clip. Cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you too. Murphy, briefing room, now. I don't want to hear a word about those damn it's robots. Worth noting that Guatemala we have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Hey, Murphy. That news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Oh, she is doing real good. She had that fire in her eyes. I know what I'm really glad to hear that. I can tell someone. Okay, I think Wendell is someone else. <clears throat> Let's talk to someone for a reason. Robo, do you have a minute? Are you here to attempt to humiliate me again? That depends entirely on you. I've been sent here to conduct an interview with you. For some reason, people value your opinion when it comes to the election. No, thank you. Roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a machine that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Delta City could be helpful if done correctly. So you agree with Mayor Kuzak that leaving the construction in OCP's hands might lead to more trouble? Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. We've got what we needed. Talk to you later, Robo. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe. This is it for now.
I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I wouldn't be surprised if he was all right. I know Kuzak isn't great, but he's not another corporate suit. 